Okay, this is Elizabeth from So Busy Lizzie. I can't believe I'm going to allow you to see my sewing room because this is sewing room rearrange number three. And it's a total disaster because I am chronically ill and I don't have a lot of days in the week where I can do a lot. Um, the majority of my days I am bed fast, but lately I've had quite a few up, so I'm trying to get some stuff done. And here's a quick glimpse. And the reason I'm going to go ahead and do some videoing is I'm folding my fabric onto these little bolts that Joy Bernhardt showed us how to do. And I have to apologize for my first video. I mentioned Whitney from Tomcat Stitchery, but I totally forgot to say the Tomcat Stitchery. So if you went looking for just Whitney, you probably didn't find her. Um, I really appreciate all she's done and all she's taught us. She is a wealth of knowledge. And also Becky at Power Tools with Thread. She is wonderful with the embroidering and the quilting. And I'm just planning on doing it all. I'm going to fight and beat this illness and enjoy all that I have. So this is, well, everybody has the calyx set up. And I've had those for, oh my goodness, 20 years, the white ones. So we added some black ones. There's a black one there. Here's another old white one. This is about a thousand square feet. So this is a lot of mess. <laughs> and there's the black one that we added this year. It's two of them side by side. And then I'm working on, this is a calyx, two sets of shelves side by side. And then I'm going to put the tabletop on over there. And then I have a mat for the top that will go over it. But I want to decoupage the table before I put the top on it. I want to decoupage the bottom part of it. And then I, right here, I'm standing in front of a toolbox. It's my husband. Well, it was going to be for my husband, but it ended up making it in here. But if I find room, I will give it back to him, but I don't know. And then this little corner is an office for our business, but there's transition going on. So it's going to go to the upstairs and then I'll have that corner for more sewing. Yay! And this is just a U-shaped table here. It goes around this way. I just painted my thread racks. Hot pink and black on one side, light pink and black on the other. I couldn't make up my mind. So, And then in the corner trying to hide, say hi. hi. This hi. is my friend. She's my buddy and she's my helper. She's the one that's here and does all the hard work for me. It's Autumn. And you've already met my daughter, Cammie that's playing hooky from school today. She's got I miss mommy itis so I stayed home and said I was sick. Mm -hmm. And so okay I'm gonna let I may let Cammie hold the video camera while Autumn and I try mm -hmm. to fold this fabric. We ran into a um, crinkle chiffon. It's not a true chiffon. It's polyester but it's giving me fits and I kind of figured out a little trick to Fixing it. Cammie, you can't do that. I, can't, I just moved that. Um, so I use, here, let me pull out one. When I folded my bolts that I'm making right now, I put these little clips. Everybody's trying to figure out what to put on there, metal and stuff. Metal doesn't work because it rusts, and I'm definitely not, that wouldn't work for me in a basement. So I put these clips that go on men's shirts, like when you go to the stores that have the men's dressy clothes. My husband used to work in one. Um, and they these clips are everywhere. And so I got on Amazon and got us some plastic clips to do this. And so what we've done is every few inches or so, we have clipped the selvage edge together. And then we're going to fold it in half. And we're going to clip it again and see if that helps us get it onto our little white foam board bolts that Joy Bernhardt showed me how to do, showed us all how to do. She has a tutorial on hers with all the measurements and everything. And when she made her first video, she didn't have the calyx shelves, but she has some of the calyx shelves now. They fit great. You guys just saw some actually right here. 
I'll go, if I'm going too fast, making you dizzy, I'm sorry. And I don't know how to edit, so you're going to get bloopers and all. I haven't learned how to edit yet. And I talk a mile a minute. Okay, so see, they fit the calyx shelves really nicely. And I can't believe I'm showing you this room in this state. Ugh, my house is not like this, I promise. <laughs> okay, Cassie. Cassie, Cammy, you've got a video. You can't, I've, th that's the third time I've told you not to set that camera on there or touch the fabric. Your hands are dirty. Okay, just film the fabric and not us, okay? Stand back over there behind the chair where you're trying to sit. And if you get me in it, that's fine, but try not to. No, here, I need to see what she's doing because I want them to see what we're doing. You've got to back up. Man, just follow me. Back way up. Okay, right there. I will be in it, but that's okay. My belly will be in it. <laughs> Just lovely. Don't us women love our all love our bellies when we're past fifty? No, we don't. Okay, put your way. Bravely put your way. Okay, I've got to put the beginning down here. It's not just yet. So we've got our beginning part. This is uneven. It's not, it's not got a straight cut. It can never cut it straight. So. Just gonna go with it and then fold it. Okay, you ready? Here we go. If you have more than this, you better get some part buddies to help you do it. Because if you have a bigger piece, I don't know what to do. Okay, now let's see if we can get this edge to be nice and go over. It's not coming in. It doesn't look right. But it's way better than it was at the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We were trying to figure out, is it going to fit on these boards? Are we going to have to have special boards? Cammie, don't move the camera. Put it, leave it where I put it. She's probably making you guys dizzy. I apologize. Okay, pull it your way about. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's good. I can probably get it started. Okay. Well, it's wider than that, and I don't want to hold that small, so... It will be the oddball on a different piece of cardboard. We just got lucky and happened to have this piece of cardboard. Cammy, you're not supposed to be walking. You're supposed to be standing still uh -huh. right there. Okay. So this is just some spare cardboard that I had from moving rooms and trying different furniture and trying to figure out who's going where and the office situation. So far, so good. Shouldn't have said that. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Joy Bernhardt, for the idea of all the foam board. I went on Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree's website because they didn't have enough at the stores. And they said, you have to purchase that by the case. And I said, that's no problem. I'll take two cases and there's 125 boards in a case and I think I'm going to end up using them all and may buy more. I have a very large fabric and pattern stash but that's because I have been sewing for 35 years. That, oh, that's a long time. And all the ribbon on the wall and the gutters. Um, when I started sewing it was in the mid 80s and that's late 80s early 90s the big hair bows came in for everyone including adult women and so i started making hair bows like crazy and so i bought ribbon bought ribbon bought ribbon but i still bought ribbon up until about a year ago and the plan was to make it for my little cami that's videoing <laughs> and i was too sick to do that the first the last few years i've like I said, I've pretty much been in bed, and Joy Bornhart has been in prayer with me, and Becky, and Viv, and at Viv Mom Sews, she's, I know she's been praying for me, and I thank you ladies. God has just given me the strength to, to do this videos this week, and I'm so appreciative, because I've wanted to do them forever. I hope I'm not talking your ears off, but that's what we're here for, right? So let's just do it. And see how this slippery, slippery fabric holds. Or if it, oh, I was gonna fold this end over the beginning, but I may cut that off. It man, I'm gonna have to cut that off. To oh, those are my sewing scissors. Can't use fabric scissors on that. So I will say goodbye uh, here, and that's 
how I'm doing my bolts of fabric. And the next time I see you will be when I see you. Uh -huh. I don't know. Thank you. Quit moving the camera. Thank you very much. Bye, guys. Bye.